Hello and welcome here to race two here at Autopolis. So this is the second round of season six of the Race Sports Car Championship. And this is another sprint race. So the starting grid is the reverse results from the previous race, meaning that the 11th place finisher from race one, Rob, is starting on pole position. In second place, we've got Noki, followed by Pix Teka, Yulanga, We've then got Samios. We've then got Tyler, who started on pole in race one. Skenny Flick is in seventh, with Sig Rezanico in eighth. Mako is in ninth. Bradders V is in tenth. And then rounding out the field, our winner from race one is Charlie Fraser. So we had a, an action packed race one. We had loads of uh, amazing side by side racing, especially in places that you wouldn't necessarily expect racing to take place around here. Um, we saw a lot of overtakes in the twisty third sector and here we are away so Robert leads the way there. And let's just see all these cars come into turn one. We got Pig Second looking towards the inside of Noki. Rob breaks quite early and actually I think it's looking kind of clean. Oh, it is, but we've only got an overtake to the lead here. We've got Noki here, has got past Rob there on the exit turn one. So a great move by Noki into the lead here. Further back, we've got side by side racing between Sammy and Tyler. Scanny. There we go, and we've got Noki off the track, our race leader. And then we've got Pix off the track. We've got uh, Yulanga going into the lead. We've got. Oh, and Pix has made contact in this carnage. We've got so much happening, and. We will have to catch a replay if this is Yulanga who was actually fighting for the lead has now gone down to the back of the field. Brothers V has gone off the track and then Noki who was our race leader has gone off the track. So let's just catch this. Oh no, he got, I think, tapped from the rear. That sent him onto the grass and sent him flying off the track. And then what happened here with Yulanga? So we had the picks on the inside and further back I think we got Mako and that's just sent Yulanga off the track. I mean, well, Bradders has gone off on his own and Noki has rejoined the field in 11th, so... So much happened there. Rob's ended up still in the lead after all the crowd. Samios has somehow gone from 5th to 2nd, I think, and Tyler is... Well, he just dropped down to 4th, but was in 3rd for a moment there. But 3rd is now Mako's as we go into the right turn and Sam, Sammy's taken the lead with a great move there on the inside. Caught Rob but napping, Mako tried to keep, oh, Mako tried this, a similar move, it wasn't to be and I think he's taken Tyler out there in the process. Yeah Tyler rejoining there um, just near the back. But as Mako went to the inside of Rob similar to Sammy the door closed, Mako there his car losing control and I think that sent Tyler off the track. Yulanga and Pixteka here fighting for 6th and 7th. They were fighting for 2nd and 3rd a few corners ago but both of those I think got sent off the track. Meanwhile just further ahead there's a battle for 3rd. We've got Sig on the inside of Scanning Flick so Sig has made great progress through the field and it's going to be 2nd because D-Rob has gone off the, uh, or not off the track. Meanwhile Brothers V they're getting past Yulanga further back. And Sammy's taken the lead, so I honestly, and oh, who's, who's, Rob's been forced off, so, so Sammy has taken the lead in all of this, Rob then fell back to second, then fell back to third, and now on the outside going into turn two, what's happened, oh, there's contact with Charlie, and he's just ended up on the gravel, and that's, Rob down to 8th place, meanwhile Mako down to 9th after his uh, incident with Rob and Tyler. Noki's in 10th just ahead of Tyler, but hopefully for Tyler's sake he can make an early move here. Sigrun and Zanico has managed to get up to 2nd place however, and Charlie Fraser has been up and down the order it seems. He's now into 3rd place from 11th, so the perfect start for Charlie. We've then got Scanny picks and Yulanga, so Yulanga's actually managed to get back ahead of Brothers V. Uh, Brothers V overtook at turn one, but then I, uh, I believe Yulanga regained the position at the sort of turn five hairpin. 
Oh, we got. Uh, he's now going around the outside of Pick's Tech of the House of Wood. He's on the grass. There was a big speed differential between the two, and that has forced the Irish driver down down the field. Meanwhile, we can see a Tyler still stuck behind Noki, but further up front, it's actually going a little bit calmer. So, Sammy is actually building up a slight gap here again, ahead of Sigra Zanico, who's pulled away from Charlie Fraser with Scanny Flick in fourth, and then we've got Pix and Brothers V here in fifth and sixth. Uh, let's just catch. Oh, and uh, Brothers V pitted on lap two, so it's a very early pit stop. So Brothers V surely is going for a two stop race. Meanwhile, Rob here making a couple of defensive moves into turn one, so. Mako may not be too pleased with that, but Mako might be able to get the inside line on the exit. He has, although it wasn't the worst exit in the world for Rob. Still defending as we go into turn two, and Mako gets the inside, and that's a good move. Oh, but Rob's looking for the move again. Oh, and there's contact, that's Mako into the grass and into the wall. Not what Mako would have wanted. He had the move done, and then... I'm not too sure what happened, but in turn three, Rob went for a move and it did not pay off. Uh, Rob has gone into sixth place, but Mako was sent off the track. Noki is doing pretty well here to stay ahead of Tyler. He was uh, quite unfortunate there on lap one, as I think he got pushed onto the grass. And then near the back of the field we've had a retirement already of Yulanga. So Yulanga after a spin, I think he's had some technical problems and he's out of the race. Uh, Bredesby the only driver to pit, he is in 10th. Meanwhile in the midfield, Pix Tech is doing fantastically here and is actually gaining ground on Scanny Flick. You can see here they're taking very different lines. Scanny Flick was way tighter there in this uh, long right turn. But he uh, holds on for now. If we just go to one of our closest battles. It's Mako trying to look. Sorry, on the inside of Rob. Rob goes extremely wide there. Meanwhile, Noki's just behind and is catching these two up. Oh, and Samios has gone off. Our race leader here was fighting with Sigros and Eco, who had been setting some good pace. And Sammy's great way too late into turn one. He's cracked under pressure. And he's rejoined in third place, so that is easy pickings for Charlie Fraser, and our current championship leader gains the lead. Meanwhile, the other we're looking at is Rob, who's made a similar error to um, Sammy, so Rob now drops to ninth, but he is still ahead of Tyler, who's made an early pit stop similar to Brothers V. Uh, Brad is just head in 8th uh, place now behind Noki who's doing a very great job here just behind Mako. So Mako will now be looking to uh, get some good ground on Pixtecker and Scanny ahead. He's on medium tyres. I think most drivers are on medium tyres. Um, Noki is one of the drivers who isn't. Another of those drivers is Brad V, but he has pitted on lap two. He's on fresh softs and uh, got a purple sector there as he uh, approaches the back of Noki. Further up front, we can see that Scanny Flick is now on the back of Sammy after his unfortunate error in turn one. I don't think it's close for enough for a move, but one driver who might be close enough for a move is Bradley V, and Bradley V nips on the inside there. So Bradley V lost a couple of positions in race one in that sector, but here he is now making ground in that sector. Uh, Noki tried to defend and was defending for about half a lap really, really well. So it's lap 5 here out of 20 and our championship leader has just gone through the uh, field like a knife through butter to take a 5 second lead here already. Although uh, the driver placing second, Charlie Fraser, we know that he is good here at our top race race course after his uh, race 1 win. So it's certainly not over. 
but we shall see how it folds. Now, Sig did make a couple of errors in race one, for example, hitting the pit wall, so as long as he doesn't make similar errors, he's certainly got a very good shot here of dominating this race. Ooh, and has Mako made a mistake? Let's, uh... Ooh, Mako's made a big error, so he had a few seconds. Um, a few seconds gap ahead of Brad's V, but he's run wide at turn two. Ooh, a bit of contact there, but Brad is actually gets through. So yeah, Mako there on dirty tyres, we're just struggling to get up to speed, as you can see, their rears all over the place with the grass and the dirt on those rear compound tyres. So certainly not the way that Mako would have wanted to start this race. I mean, he was um, ahead of Sig. Sorry, he was just behind Sig, but he was ahead of Charlie at the start of the race. So if it wasn't for a few incidents at the start, he could have found himself there in the top few positions. Further back, and we've got Noki setting fairly consistent lap times in eighth place. Although I think he's had a bit of a poor lap because Rob has caught him up by a few seconds here on lap five. Uh, Tyler, he's on fresh soft tyres. Um, I'm not too sure what tyres he started on. So I'm not too sure if he has to use mediums. Oh, and we got Spinner. Where? Is it Mako? It's Mako. So Mako was running in seventh. He's already been off Winter's lap. And then just here, let's just go on board with the Hungarian. And oh, I see exactly what's happened. So as Mako has tried to straighten the car up as much as possible through that uphill kink to uh, help the traction, he's just pushed a bit too far, gone onto the outside curb, and he falls down to eighth place behind the Bahamas driver of Noki. Uh, I incorrectly said in race one that Noki was from America, uh, but I assure you that he is from the Bahamas. So Mako's pitted. Uh, so he's only used the mediums for four laps, but he's actually the third driver to change tyres in this race. We'll see what tyres he gets on and then we'll uh, join the rest of the field. So Mako rejoins on soft tyres, that might be a similar strategy to Tyler and Brothers V. Meanwhile Brothers V is in sixth and still on his own. Quite a big gap to the cars ahead, his fastest lap is a 38.1. Meanwhile, some of the medium runners are on uh, 39 second laps. Scanny and Sammy haven't really been too separated so far in race two, and they uh, weren't that far apart in race one either. They didn't battle as ferociously, ferociously as they did at Nürburgring, but their pace was very, very similar, and it seems like that's the, the case in race two here as well. So still a long way to go in this race. It's uh, probably about 25 minutes more of racing. However, with the soft and medium compounds being used, they do wear out fairly quickly and tyre conservation is just as important as that uh, sort of continuous pace. Although Sammy there with a really good sector one, so he seems to do a really good job at both his tyre conservation and his uh, pace. So he's looking pretty settled here for a podium finish. Although Charlie Fraser's looking very comfortable a few seconds up the road and then looking pretty dominant in a world of his own is the Italian championship leader of Sig Resonico. There's about eight second gap there between Samios and Sig and about a five second gap between Sig and Charlie. So I've probably got this battle here between Tyler and Rob. So Tyler's had a good first sector and well Rob has sadly just gone off the track. Uh, let's just catch the replay. So Tyler here has cut back on the inside here at turn two with a great move and then gone around the outside of turn three. So that's a uh, nice battle there between the Lexus and the Nissan GTR. So Tyler's now going to be looking up ahead here towards the driver Noki. 
So this is just the second event for Noki, the second event for Rob as well. Oh, and that's a unfortunate amateur error for Noki. Just breaks a little bit too late, I think. He drops down to eighth, and Rob might now be uh, looking to gain that ground as he can now re-see him in his sights. So further back we've got Mako, he's on fresh softs. He might be uh, looking to put in some fresh, fresh good lap times here and maybe gain ground when some of the other drivers pit. For example, Pixteca in sixth place. And if we just catch a replay, he was actually racing with Brothers V. So Brothers V was very, very close to him. And oh, and just as Pixteca needed to pit, Brothers V was already on the inside and Pixteca gets into the pit lane. Now fortunately for him, he didn't hit the pit wall like in race one. Uh, although he was not the only driver to make that error. So it will be... I'm quite curious where Pixtech is going to come out relative to the likes of Mako, but I think we've had a spin for Noki, who was running with Rob. He's now down to 10th behind Mako. Mako, I think, has rejoined way, way behind Pixtech, and yes, a Pixtech has got a large gap to Mako, so... Any thought that Mako might have had to uh, gain ground on the midfield isn't currently working, although Tyler is in a much closer position and on a similar strategy. So we might see some racing here between these two drivers. And this is definitely the closest battle on track so far, but everything can change. Uh, and with this being such a hard track, we can see mistakes so often that new battles are being formed um, and people you know, may crack under pressure, may maybe make mistakes that they wouldn't do when racing on their own. So still only lap 8 and a lot of the drivers here have yet to pit because they've been trying to extend their medium stint. In the uh, first race we saw drivers using the medium tyres for about 10 to 12 laps before going on to the soft tyres and Pixteca here in 6th place gone off the track. We've seen many, many cars in that gravel trap and that's another one to add to the collection. But yeah, we saw in race 1 we had drivers pitting uh, anywhere between lap 10 and lap 13 and then going on to a, a fresh set of softs for the remaining few laps. We saw that people who had pitted on lap 13 had much, much better tyres at the end of the race and that they made some really good overtakes. So as much as you're pitting later and may lose some ground between those laps of 10 and 13, you'll gain the ground la later on and I think we've got a spin further back. Oh, it's Charlie Fraser, Charlie Fraser, our race one winner's gone off. I saw it on the radar, he was having a really good race and his lap times are very very consistent but he's just gone onto that kerb, just onto the grass, we've seen a few mistakes like that and he's gone face first into that armco, down to fourth place and uh, that allows Scanny to get into third, he's just behind Sammy in second. The third race of the season, well, the third event of the season, is the Red Bull Ring. That's a 42 lap endurance race, I believe. And fuel and tyre will be very important there in Austria. Uh, today, here at Autopolis, it's just tyres that these drivers have to worry about. So yeah, you certainly do not want to overstress your tyres early on in the stint because otherwise you're going to be losing 7 or 8 tenths a lap every single time you cross that timing beam and then by the time you've done sort of a long stint of tyres um, you know, your lap times are going to be dramatically worse than what they could be. Um, as P 
picked Tekka, I think has made a mistake somewhere around the track on the previous lap. I believe I've missed this because Maka is now in two seventh place. Maka rejoined quite a bit behind Pixteca, who uh, earlier rejoined ahead of Tyler. But, uh, well, there's Pixa just running a little bit wide at turn one. In eighth place, with Noki in ninth and Rob in tenth. Meanwhile, our race leader, Sigra Zanico, his lap times on these mediums have been very consistent. However, he may go onto the softs pretty soon and uh, try to increase his lead further. Well, he stays out for now, but here's, yeah, 38.9, so that does match on with some of the previous laps he'd been doing, 38s, low 39s. Uh, just crossing the start-finish line is Samios in second, he's setting low 40s, and Scanny's actually going slightly slower, so potentially made a mistake, or maybe just his tyres dropping off a little bit more than the Americans. So we're now in the second half of this race. And we can see that in sector one, Scanny still got the pace. It's only a tenth slower than the fastest sector one set so far in this race, which I believe has been set by Mako. So Mako there set the fastest lap at 37.0 on soft tires. So uh, that, those sort of lap times allowed him to catch up Pix Tecker earlier on. Meanwhile, at the back, we've got a reasonably close battle here for ninth place with Noki and Rob. In the previous race, Rob finished 11th, just outside of the potential points paying positions, but Noki was up there. Oh, and into the gravel and into the other gravel trap. No, he just avoids the other one. But that's crucial time loss there for the American. Now they're almost a lap behind Sigurus and Eco, just rounding the final couple of turns now. Will he pit this lap? Uh, no, he's actually staying out for another lap, so he's actually going for quite a long medium stint. So, ooh, ooh! And some sort of major loss of concentration. But uh, yeah, Sig leading, and this means that when he does go into soft, he won't have to worry too much about tyre wear, because he's only going to have eight or even less laps than that. Uh, into the pit lane is Sammy Austin Scanny. They were very close for second. That means Charlie moves from fourth to second. Meanwhile, into pits also is the fifth place driver of Brothers V. He was on the softs. And we just got these three drivers coming out to the pits, single file. So Sammy's on softs with eight laps to go. And it's the same strategy for Scanny Flick. Brothers V doing the same thing. So he's on a two stop strategy. But he's actually now on the exact same compound and tyre life than the two cars ahead of him um, and that is until the end of the race. So Bradersby is going to have to put in some phenomenal lap times to try and catch these cars ahead because there's no way he's going to be able to get by them with better tyres because Sam and Scania are on the same tyres. Uh, Tyler has rejoined, sorry Tyler is just behind Brothers. Uh, Tyler's only pitted once so far this race compared to Bradis's two times. Uh, I expect that Tyler will pit fairly soon because I don't think his soft tyres will last another eight laps. Similar goes for Mako, who's catching up Tyler. He's had some good 38 laps. Uh, he is approaching, though, his seventh lap on soft tyres. And then we have Pixtaker in eighth. Oh, and that might send him down lower down. He's in 8th though, Rob is ninth, and then just exiting the pits here is Noki. So he was on soft tyres, now he's on mediums, which is the mandatory tyre. But our race leader finally pits here on lap 12. We might see Charlie Fraser rejoin into the lead. So Charlie now re-inherits the lead. Sig goes on to the soft tyres as he just leaves uh, ahead of Charlie. Maybe if Sigurd pit a lap earlier, he might have been ahead of Charlie. But Charlie's still got a pit, so they're not really in the same race for now. 
Sieg isn't really in the same race with anyone because Sammy's 10 seconds down the road with Scanny and Bradders V in 4th and 5th. We can see that Bradders is struggling to gain ground on those two. Uh, Tyler, who was in 6th, has just pitted. So Mako has just moved up. And we just see Tyler leave the pit. So yeah, he had to pit again. And he's on the soft tyres for these last few laps. With these soft tyres, he might be able to make some ground on Mako, although I'm fairly certain Mako will pit soon and rejoin just ahead, uh, just behind the American once again. Pixtucker getting along nicely for the uh, meantime in 8th place. But I think our closest battle on track is sort of a... Uh, Oh, we've missed an overtake for the lead. Um, so these two drivers are currently on different strategies, but Charlie on the outside and almost seems like a textbook team order move as uh, Charlie just takes the outside line. Sig gets the inside, so Charlie hasn't really lost much time there. I'm not too sure where Charlie's going to rejoin after he makes his uh, first and only pit stop. But I believe that there's about a 15 to second, 16 second gap to 5th placed Bradders V. Now around here, the time loss for a pit stop is probably just over that at about 17 to 18 seconds. So we might see Charlie behind Bradders V, uh, although that was similar to race 1 when we saw Charlie behind Bradders V and Charlie was able to overtake him. So if we just watch Charlie, we see that he maximises his pace into the pit lane well without hitting either wall and he will go on to the soft tyres. So in third place, and soon to be second, is Samios. He's setting really good type lap times on those soft tyres at 37.9. is certainly something that he can be proud of, and that's almost the exact same lap time as Scanny Flick, who just set his personal best. Further back, and it's a 36.5 from Bradders V, and he's rejoined a couple of seconds ahead of Charlie, so that fastest lap of the race from Bradders V at 36.5 is Probably the one of the things which has allowed him to actually get that gap from Charlie. But we know that Charlie's off fresh tyres, and if we have a similar occurrence to the previous race here at Autopolis, Charlie may close him down. In sixth place is now Tyler, and that is because the Hungarian of Mako has just paid for another set of softs. I think that his, I think that's his second stop of the race. So we might see Mako and Tyler close in, but not like that. Mako with an amazing deja vu drift, but top seven seems pretty secure because about 30 seconds down the road is Pixtaco who's also making another pit stop. Noki is in ninth. Noki's recently pitted and then we've got Rob pretty close behind actually so these two are fairly well matched today. Sigrun Zvezniuka just lapping the traffic but his soft pace may be a little bit lacking a 38.1. Now if we just compare that to Samios and Scanny we can see that Samios is doing uh, when well, he did 37.9 the previous lap and now he's doing a 38.6. And Scanny's doing a 38.0 and a 37.9 previously, so Scanny is certainly quicker than Sig Rosanico at this point. Just for the back, we got Bradders V, uh, probably the fastest on the track right now, although his front tyres are certainly starting to feel the burn. He's set in a 37.1 on the previous lap. We've got yellow flags. Who is that? Is that a lapped car? Well, I'm not too sure. So sorry for the mindless scrambling through drivers. Oh, it's no, my don't not mind me. So I do not know where that yellow flag came from. Uh, also pretty quick on track though is Charlie who's at 37.4 on the previous lap. Uh, that was his out lap though. Yeah, it was his out lap. So uh, not actually something we can judge. Although he's set in a really good middle sector here half a second ahead of his previous fastest lap. Oh, and we've got a spinner. Is it a 
Oh, it's Pixteca going off, so he's only made a few mistakes of the, uh, the double apex turn, and Rob has followed him right into that gravel trap. So we'll just go on board here with the American driver. So we can, uh, we won't really see it, but Pixteca has actually gone off in the exact same place and is just rejoining, and then Rob has not lost as much speed as needed, and you can see Noki there moving into ninth place, and Rob rejoins down in 10th. So we've got some wonderful liveries here today at Autopolis, and in future weeks we have special one-off livery weeks. For example, we've got an Italian Pride Week at Monza, and we've also got a livery, uh, livery week based on famous racing helmets. So it'd be really cool to see people's livery based off those helmets. Uh, hopefully no one does the stick, because that might be a little bit bland. Leading this race currently is Sigrez Nico, but his last lap was a 38.8. Meanwhile, in second place is Sammy, gaining by 6 tenths a second on that previous round uh, here at Autopolis. Sig maybe not pushing the tyres as much as he'd want, uh, although it seems like this is a much better lap here from the Italian. Uh, if we just look in this battle here for third, fourth, and fifth, Scanny and Sammy still been on the same pace, still in the same shot. We've then got Bradley closing in, he's at a 37.2, so. The pace on the 30 laps of his stint is working wonders. However, when we get to lap 20, is he just going to have the grips in the tyres? Uh, in race 1, he did struggle with the grip. Meanwhile, someone who didn't is Charlie Fraser, who's set in very, very respectable lap times here. 37.4, 37.5, nothing to be sniffed at. It's definitely faster than our current race leader, Sigrus Nico, and it's also faster than the second and third place driver, Sammy and Scanny. Now, Charlie was the last driver to go onto these uh, fresh softs out of these top few drivers. Uh, just further back, we've got Mako in sixth place and Tyler in seventh. Now, there might have been an overtake recently. I cannot recall, honestly, because I've been focusing so much on this uh, top group of five closing in. So apologies if I've missed something there, but Sigra Zanico's finally found his pace at 36.6. That's way more like it for Sigra Zanico. So that's the pace we've been looking for. That's only one tenth of the fastest lap of the race so far. And considering that that is his fifth lap on those tyres, that is absolutely superb. So he's now got a dominant sort of, I think about a 14 second lead over the this or this train of cars got some marshals there waving some blue flags for eighth place picks Tekka. but we got Sammy Nis Falcon livery in second and Sat Scanny has really not let him go all of all this race and it's quite amazing how well matched these drivers are even when they're in the such far apart land you know we've got an American driver and a British driver here and they're the same ability and we've got so many different nations here racing we've got Italians Hungarians Americans we've got a driver from, from the Bahamas we have Irish drivers in our league and so many other nationalities So further back, and in the last couple of the laps, the times for Brothers V has dropped down. He did that the fastest lap, but he's now doing mid 38s, and we can see that that is a second slower than the last lap for Charlie Fraser. Charlie Fraser is on, I think, three lap newer soft tyres. Uh, Sigrez Nico is doing pretty well with his tyres. Oh, it is on the grass and he's hit the wall. So Charlie Fraser made that mistake a few laps ago and Sig made that mistake in race one. This time Sig is taking him an eternity to get on track. He's hit the Armco with the front bonnet and we've now got Sammy has caught him up. So Sig's lost about 14 seconds. Sig has lost the lead or has he? No, he's braked far too late. He actually didn't lose the lead, but 
on the dirty tyres, you cannot break enough, and Sammy has regained. But he's, Sammy's got into the lead, and Sammy's potentially on course for a win. This is dreadful news for Sig, and he's maybe going to run wide again. No, but this is some feisty, hot Italian uh, coming out of him now. He's right over the back of the GTR head. That's a big, big mistake for the uh, for the championship leader. Dropped two positions, lost 15 seconds. And we've now got a major race on our hands for this uh, race win. The top five are separated by only six seconds. We can see the three of them then. And then just in the background we can see Bradley V. And Charlie is catching Bradley V as well. A 153. Meanwhile, in the background, Charlie there getting the slip through with Brothers V. So, this is amazing stuff. Honestly, who is going to win this? Is it going to be Sammy? Is, or is Scanny maybe going to finally get the ground? we got Charlie right on the back of Brothers V. Let's uh, just get an eye at that. Brothers V not going in defensive. But now having to go defensive because Charlie's line is way better. And Charlie going for the move through turn three no he cannot pull that off uh further up front sig unable to get past scanny meanwhile just a quick recap further back so Mako's made a third pit stop for some reason he's dropped down behind tyler picks is in eighth and then we've got noki in ninth and rob in tenth Oh, Brad is going to defence on Charlie. Sig unable to make the overtake on Scanny. He's going to be kicking himself after that big mistake. Now, Brad and Charlie had an amazing race uh, in the first sprint race here. And Charlie going for the move, but no, he gets on the grass. Brad is defending well. Scanny still ahead of Sig. It's hard to keep track of both things at once. Might go to a replay of the uh, battle there soon. Brad is be going very defensive here in the double right turn. So let's just go to the battle for second and third. And Sig still not ahead. And all this is doing is allowing Sammy to build up a nice little gap. It's just one lap to go. And if uh, Sammy can hold on, he's going to win here in the race. Balls Car Championship. And take an amazing, unsurprised win. So Sammy actually uh, spun earlier on, I think, on lap four here at turn one. He only misses the apex, but he does not spin out. Meanwhile, Bradley's is having to go defensive here on Charlie. Charlie going around the outside of turn one? No, Bradley's holds it off on the uh, exit curb, but now going defensive for turn two. Charlie right on the outside. Can he go on the outside? We've seen some great moves there, and he's going to pull it off. Charlie on the outside, he gets inside here for turn three. Bradley's cannot make cannot stay side by side for much longer. Bradley has to drop into fifth, so a great maneuver from Charlie Fraser into fourth place. Uh, and actually, while Charlie was battling there, his front tyres got much, much worn than they were at any point during race one. And if we just go to Bradley's V, we'll just compare the tyre wear in the bottom left and see that he's got 50% tyre wear. Scanny Flick is not under pressure now from Sig, so he's been holding on extremely well. He hasn't been phased. Sig almost made another error. If we just get a quick run through back and Pixtech has made um, a mistake. Uh, let's see if this is something that I can catch a replay of. So Pixtech has gone wide there at the turn five hairpin, and that has allowed no key to get a great maneuver into eight places. A good result seemingly for the Bahamas driver. Rob a few seconds back in 10th. But if we just go to the footage up front, so Sammy is going to take a win here in the Race Balls Cup Championship. Round in the last two turns, he made a mistake, but it's only been one mistake, and since that mistake, he's had amazing consistent pace to hold off the likes of Scanny, hold off the likes of Charlie Fraser, and Sig Rezo Nico made that mistake, and Sammy takes in a great win here at Autopolis. Scanny and Sig right behind him. Charlie is a few seconds back in fourth place. Bradersby in fifth. It's a great uh, last lap battle between those two there for fourth place. Tyler is in sixth. It seems. Where is Mako? Mako is actually a few seconds back. So, oh, is Mako going to catch Tyler up though? Because Tyler, with just a few corners to go, has just run wide at the corner where everyone's been running wide. Picks Tekka. Oh no, we've got to catch this. Oh, so 
with a few corners to go, the, they were a lap down. But Noki is in eighth. Picks Tekka. Oh, the, the, oh, right at the end has got the position. So Noki's just gone way too slow for that left turn. The rear's gone. Picks Tekka's actually got eighth position there at the death. Noki in ninth, so not the eighth place to be. Rob probably going to come home in tenth. Me more for sixth and seventh. If we just go back to where we were before we cut to that battle for eighth. Tyler has rejoined just out of the lap car of D-Rob and just out of Mako. So that means that Tyler should be in 6th and Mako should be in 7th. We hope you've enjoyed this race 2 here at Autopolis Racing Course. We will see you next week for Red Bull Ring.